Hello, people of Earth. This is Dan. Hope everybody's doing okay. This is On the Mountain with Dan, take three. Well, it was a beautiful day up there. I think I captured some really awesome views. I don't recall what the temperature was, but hey, you know, it's winter time, so let's say it was probably a little bit cool. It was breezy up on top, and you'll see that in the video. I'll use attribution-free music from YouTube for my music tracks. This first tune is called Pale Rider Blues. I'm also using a GoPro Hero 8 camera. Really nice camera. A lot of people were walking around me. I'm old and slow. I admit it. Well, those guys are two guys that passed me were probably built over six feet tall. For one step, I was taking two. All right, look at how sunny and beautiful it is. It's like this more often, more often than not. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice. This is the base area here. All right, this is the silver green chairlift, and I consider it to be the main chairlift because it services at least half of the mountain, and you have to ride it to get to the extremes. If you're into the black and double black runs, but it also services access to intermediate runs off the Paradise Bow, which I'll be skiing today. This tune is called Put On Your Dancing Pants. With the, probably more appropriate that you had on your ski pants. Let me look at the peak up here. All right, you can see the clouds just pushing by. You get a little closer to the top, you see the snow blowing off the peak. So I don't know, it did seem that windy to me, but. Apparently it was. There's a small cat trail called uh, Silver Queen Road. That's where I'm heading down to right now on this one. There's also a little run there on the right that you can take down to the trail. No view. This is a Silver Queen Road right here. This little trail brings you down and around to the Paradise Bow. 
This tune is called Middle Age Blues. I remember being middle-aged, kind of. <laughs> if you watch ground level on this stretch, you'll see some ground blizzards blowing up the hill. That was kind of fun. skiing around 2 to 3 o'clock, 2 to 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. This little stretch right here gets a little icy, you have to kind of watch it. We're going to turn on to Upper Treasure here in a second. This tune is called Blues and Fusion. Check out my shadow in this stretch. It looks like uh, I'm going to run into somebody and it turns out it's me. <laughs> I'm heading on down to the East River chairlift. That's my shadow, how freaky this is. There's a lot of good intermediate runs off this particular section over here. Cruisers. I'm a little treasury now. Come over this little crust, and I see some flat kind of snowplow marks in the snow, and I'm thinking to myself, better slow down a little bit. And there it is, right there. This guy comes bombing by me right about here. Any second. There he is. Seemed like he's a little out of control to me, but whatever. Many of the runs are named after mines or miners from that era in Gunnison County. Like Jokerville, Florusta, and Forest Queen. Some of the names are also after geological attributes like the East River Chairlift. Guess what the run called Rambo is named after? The name of this tune is Eerie.
I use the ballet photo, photovoltaic goggles when it's bright and sunny. It's the same kind of technology as in photograph glasses. They don't get quite as dark as I'd like for them to, but they work pretty good. I'm heading back down to the bottom of paradise. The name of this tune is called Beach Disco. The Paradise Chair is probably the most generally ridden chair because it serves as the center of the mountain. There's, there's a pretty good diversity of runs from black and double black all the way to green runs that can get you back down to the base. Ask me about the time I fell off this chair a couple seasons ago. The only thing I hurt was my ego. Karen has a pretty good memory of that event. You can ask her about that too. That's beautiful back that way. That's gothic on the left hand side. Yeah, I'm skiing on Blizzard Bonafide skis these days. I've had them about uh, five seasons now, I think. The really good skis were on the edges, on the flat and straight. They kind of uh, kind of bounce around a little bit. All in all, good skis. This is Ruby Road. Ruby Road connects Paradise back to the front side of the mountain. The name of this tune is Good Morning. It's kind of a misnomer because it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ruby Road takes you down to some of the more heavily mogul runs like Jokerville, Twister, Crystal. You can see them down on the right hand side in a shot here. That's Monument up on my left. I don't think it's open yet though. There's not very much snow up there. There's a lot of rocks. This run also, uh, Ruby Road also takes you down to this run here called International. International is a black run because there's a couple places where the, the pitch is pretty steep. So uh, I turned the camera off when I came down it because I needed to have both my hands on the poles, on the ski poles. Yeah, I'm sure I could have done it without 
the poles and running the camera, but I wanted to ski it safely and always have a blast on that run. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you're on Facebook watching this, a like would be great. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.